hello friends so in this today's video we are going to see how can we enable the application load balancer logs to the s3 bucket so in my aws account i have total this two load balancer uat and the production load balancer so let me create first an s3 bucket and we will see how can we enable load balancer log to the within a single s3 bucket for the both we will utilize the single bucket for the both UAT and the production ALB so this is my S3 console so now I have like a zero bucket so let me create a bucket first so give a name so I am giving the UAT production access log so I am my load balancer in the Mumbai region so for the S3 also choose the region as a Mumbai region so I will choose uh, the, by default it, it chosen the Mumbai region so in your case if you are using any another another region for your load balancer you can choose here scroll down and click on the S3 but if you want to enable versioning then you want any additional encryption so you can enable it So this is the bucket we I have created for the uh, storing the log load balancer logs. So we have completed the step to store creating a S3 bucket for storing the uh, load balancer log. So go to the your uh, load balancer. So I want now we will enable the UAT load balancer logs. so here you have like a different uh, section like a listener rules security monitoring for the access log option is available in the attribute section so click on the attribute section and click on edit and scroll down uh, in the monitoring section you will see the access log option so click on the enable and aws provided this option browse s3 so click on so it is showing the bucket that we have recently created choose the bucket and click on the save changes so you will get the access and denied because we have no only created a bucket we haven't updated the bucket policy so that is the reason most of the people face issue while enabling the load balancer log so this is the aws documentation so where they have mentioned the all steps for enabling the load balancer log so first step like create a strip bucket so this we did then second step is the attach policy to your this is the main important step so here we have like three options the region available as august means the region that uh, in a, implemented by AWS after the August or in August 2022 or the regions available before the August 2022 so Mumbai region is available before the August 2022 North Virginia also available before so here you will get the list of the region so that are available before the 2000, August 2022 so copy this policy go to your S3 bucket select the S3 bucket in the permission section here you will see the bucket policy option click on the edit and paste the policy here so this is the main important point of the, uh, this video so you need to make sure in the uh, in the AWS here so here they have mentioned the ARN AWS IM and your ELB account ID so most of the people what they do so they copy their account ID and add there so in, you don't you make sure you have to copy the ELB account ID from this documentation like I am using the Asia specific version so you need to copy this ELB account ID not your account ID copy this I mean 
and paste it here so this is done so and here you need to change your resources arn so copy this bucket arn you will get here and just a minute and paste it here throughout this entire section you need to paste your bucket arn and click on the save changes so now we have updated our bucket policy so refresh it and cancel it again click on the edit scroll down in the access log section click on then select browse s3 and select your bucket and click on the choose option and click on the save changes so you will say we have successfully modified the modified the load balancer attributes may have means we have enabled the logs of our application load balancer so here you can check that in the monitor section they have shown that the our bucket name so most of the people's what they want so like i i am having this bucket so they want to create a multiple folders like i have i am going to create two folders one for the uat so another for the production so they want to enable the they want to utilize the single bucket for the all load balancer so this is my production this is my uat bucket so go to your load balancer section and now we have enabled the uat load balancer let me uh, enable enable the logs of production load balancer in the production folder so go to the attribute section click on the edit and enable access log and then select browsers 3 and then click on the bucket uh, uh, name and then select the product folder and click on the choose option and save changes so you need to make sure to remove the slash from the end and click on the save changes so we have successfully enabled the uh, prod load balancer logs in the in the product folder so that is why we have like uh, in the permission section we have like uh, only added the arn and then we give on the slash and the star means what we added in the resources we have given the bucket name and slash and the star means whatever the folders we create in the s3 bucket that all folders uh, we need we are given the load balancer to put their objects in that s3 bucket in, in every folder that is why i added a star so that's all in this today's video so you need to make sure uh, make a note of that you need to add the elb account id not your account not your account not your account id so i will give you the this documentation link in the description and if you are facing any challenges or during this practical so please let me in the comment section and thank you for the watching the video happy cloud computing from the aws thank you